All right, what's going on, you guys? Uh, this is part two of the whole Vic Mignana and um, Monica Real. Now, there is footage of those, them two um, working together on another, doing a recording of another anime. And um, it's them in the studio and they're kind of talking, they're working together. Uh, I don't know what they were recording um, or what for what show, but you can clearly, if you, if you take, if you watch it, if you watch the clip, um, and I would uh, definitely look up my, uh, Monica Real and Vic Mignana uncovered, footage uncovered. And it's those two, Buddy Buddy, this was like maybe a year and a half ago, Buddy Buddy um, in the studio, laughing, talking, you know, they're just those two in the studio, and they're, you know, and he, and he hugs her. And it's like, okay, let's hug as we look at, you know, he's saying like, I'll give you a hug as we look at this, and they're all like, good, like, cool, like, they're, they're cool with this. There's even a picture of those two literally sharing a picture, to, touching you know they're they're hugging they're close and you know she's sending him heart emojis and all that kind of stuff and you know it's like what is going on here and and uh it, it it's 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 crazy because in in the in the in the footage you clearly see her um uh, you clearly see her really d engaging closely with Vic. Uh, uh, you know, she's put out um, tweets uh, and uh, it, 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 uh, against Vic of uh, uh, with with little to no proof. Well, no proof, honestly, and uh, or hasn't even really described in too much detail of what happened to them you know um uh again christopher chris uh sabbat and um uh uh the, um, uh the guy who voices i believe krillin um have you know decided to go straight against Vic and go straight to Monica Real but the only person that's only calling for what they is calling how it you know calling for how it is is Sean the voice of Goku um and it's kind of like uh it's well it's almost like they're 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 well, with Sean, it's like you hear one thing about it, then you hear another thing about it. It's kind of like he's he's wishy washy with the situation, um, and it's kind of like, well, dang, like, and, and like I said, like Chris 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 uh, Sabat is the voice director for Dragon Ball and fun, working in Funimation, so he's in charge of the voices. You know, he voices Vegeta, Piccolo. Uh, other voices as well and you have you know and in the games he is direct he, he's the, the director he's you know in charge of voicing you know directing the, the different voices in, in the video games as well as the show he's even he even uh directed like dragon ball z kai you know that was his you know so well not his his but he was in charge of it so you know of course companies all look at money you know um, they're, they're not going to make themselves look bad uh, this is straight reputation I, I really believe that there's bad blood there were that, that something between them uh, you know the, 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 the there was some bad blood after somewhere down the line, maybe one of them did something that somebody didn't like, and all of a sudden, boom, these allegations 
you know, hit. Because at one point, they were, you know, there's videos of them being really, really cool. Really close, talking, you know, nothing that you would even suspect of him doing something uh, malicious or whatever. They're cool. Like, I, I watched the video. They're cool. They're talking. They take pictures together. She sends him heart emojis. And now, all of a sudden, boom. You know, it could be something that she may want that Vicky has. And, you know, she has. She's gotten what she wanted. She, his, uh, you know, he lost his career. Um, now, it's to the point where uh, it... She, she she wants more than just his career now I, I I and who knows somewhere down the line if there was bad chemistry between them somewhere down the line afterwards then I, and I'm not just saying that Monica is lying either but but it clearly just shows like there's something that you know like they were buddy buddy and then somewhere down the line they didn't become so friendly anymore and then you know beef started to you know started to surface and now it's kind of like this right here you know um vic has apologized uh publicly uh to his fans of of how he felt about the allegation that were pinned up against him uh you can check that out um also on youtube I'll try to put a link to that and as well as the uncovered footage from um, uh, from them actually talking and hanging out. So there, there's also multiple videos of Chris, Chris uh, Sabat and Vic. Um, and then I guess Chris is talking on his behalf regarding the situation too. Again, he's 100% on Monica's side. Uh, and uh, along with the rest of Funimation. Um, and they have just basically just uh, crapped on Vic and just said, you're out. Like, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not even giving him a fair shake on his side of the story. They didn't even go up to him and just say, hey, look, you know, what's going on? You know, they just said, boom, you're gone. They just 100% jumped on her side. What? You're gone? Because even though, even after the investigation, if there is an investigation taking place, which I'm pretty sure there is, because if, you know, Vic's not going to probably let this go. Uh, I know he's, I know he mentioned he wants to do some soul searching and, you know, because this is really, this is really has gotten to him because he he feels as if you know like if he you if you hear something multiple times you begin to believe it so he's constantly hearing that you know he assaulted her and all these allegations like he did this to her and 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 in his mind in the back of his mind i mean even though in reality he probably is sure that he knows what he did and versus what he didn't do but you know with all these allegations somehow he did this now he's just starting now it's getting to him and he doesn't know what to take about you know these allegations are serious and it, whether they're you know true or, or or false they're serious they can have a negative outcome for both parties if she's lying because you know but but at the end of the t at the end of the day let's say if she is lying you know it's still going to come with a negative outcome because you still got that small percentage of people who you know who don't know the absolute truth you got his side her side and the truth you got though you got the truth, and either way, somebody's gonna be salty at the end of the day, and it's not gonna end up well, especially with Funimation after the after this investigation, because you know they it's all about reputation. Corporate is all about reputation and money. Anytime they're risking losing money or having a reputation that's gonna cost them money. They're gonna they're gonna cut ties with anything any obstacle that's standing in that way that's costing them money. That's how it goes. You know it sucks. It's it's sad, but that's the truth and that's the world we live in. You know, uh, I've worked for companies before where it's literally just all about making money, and in situations to where somebody can easily easily say anything about you, 
whether if it's true or not and if and all about reputation if somebody if somebody feels like their reputation is being jeopardized they're not going to listen to you or hear your side of the story at all what they want to do or they want to get rid of you as quick as possible and it's a sad story it's sad it's very sad in that situation but that's just the truth you know Nobody wants to listen to sides. Nobody wants to investigations. Nobody wants to look bad. Everybody just wants that that threat or whatever to be gone. And that's literally what just happened. You know, Vic is kind of like his back is uh, against uh, is to the ropes right now. And they're just everybody's just body shotting him right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he's about ready to throw in the towel to say forget it, but I can tell that he really just wants to clear his name and prove once and for all that these allegations are, are not true against him. So, uh, uh, prayer goes out for you, Vic. I mean, I, I really hope that they're not true because, you know, that's, you know, that's not a, that's not, that's serious, you know, and that's not something that you want to have, especially if it's not true, because regardless if it's true or if it's not true and the, those allegations are pinned up against you, you're, I mean, that, it, it sucks. My heart goes out for him because his career is done for either way because of that, you know, because if he, if there, if those, if those allegations are not true, you know, you got that small percentage of people that still are on Monica's side. Monica, if, as long as Monica says that they are true, you know, um, people are still going to give Vic a hard time. I mean, honestly, even with the whole, uh, like how they're doing this thing with Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson has been gone for almost 10 years now, 10 years. He's been almost gone. He's been gone. And you know, there's still, you guys, you still have people, kids from, the Never Neverland trial, still saying that Michael Jackson had you know done stuff to them, and honestly, there was one guy in particular who I believe he was just mad because he wanted to choreograph a tri uh, this thing and in, in, in tribute to the King of Pop, and one of the directors, I think it was Kenny Ortega, uh, said that he hired he wanted he hired somebody else. In that you know and up until I think 2003 was well, from 2003 he met, he said that Michael Jackson never touched him never did anything like that towards him and it wasn't until um, 2000 after 2012 uh, was where you know um, he said Michael Jackson did this to him now Michael Jackson died in 2009 he wanted to choreograph this tribute to the King of Pop he felt like he was fit for it. He felt like he wanted, you know, he wanted to do it. He was, he loved Michael Jackson. And then after Kenny Ortega uh, said he felt that somebody else was going to be fit for it, that's when he said Michael Jackson did it. You know what I'm saying? And and was now they got this documentary uh, going on and being released about it, talking about, you know, yeah, it's 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 sad. Like uh, it's sad when people don't get what they want. Is when it start when people start coming out with them false accusations. Now, like like I said, as serious as that stuff is, you don't want to falsely accuse that you know people like that. You know if it happened, and you know you hear stuff, you hear you hear people say this all the time, but it's a very touchy subject because you hear that statistics of you know um, I think eighty percent of cases that involve like rape or anything like that go unno uh, unnoticed because, you know, people who are, of course, you know, in that sense, it, it, and for that, I understand, people, it goes unnoticed because, you know, you got those people that don't believe you. And then, you know, it, it's literally your word against theirs as long as they say that they didn't and that there's no actual proof saying that, you know, they did until a number of people all stand up and say, yes, this person did it to me too then that's when things kind of uh, 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 that's when things start to roll into action. Kind of like with the whole R. Kelly deal. Now everybody knows R. Kelly did. Oh, he yeah, you know. And he's finally, after all these years, is finally getting justice served. Now in that sense, he deserved more than what he's getting because he, he yeah, he need to be put under the jail. 
but it's just a shame that it took this long. But um, <clears throat> but before I get too far off track here, I'm just making a point of the seriousness and the effect about you know about what the companies uh all care they, they just the corporate all care, they can just care about their money and reputation they don't care about nobody else not even the workers they all they care about money as big as the kind the bigger the company gets the more money that they get that's all they care about and if something is standing in the way to ca- that's going to cost them money or get in the way of getting more money they're going to cut ties with that as quick as possible people all they care about and i've dealt with situations like i said of p pe- of of uh of um so anybody could literally all it takes is one person to say one thing about you say one thing about you and literally that can cost you your job and the in the sad part about it is you know they'll listen to the person that's going to make them the most money before they'll listen to you you know and if somebody is making is going to can make them uh a thousand dollars uh more a week or whatever you know, versus you can only make them three hundred dollars a week. They're gonna obviously take that thousand dollars, and your their word is gonna be more valuable than yours. And that's just the uh, economy we live in. That's the world we live in. That's society. You know, and that's literally. And, and, it, and there's nothing really we can do unless we own our own company. You know, and even the sad part about it then is some people who own their own company will understand that 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 that, that when they get to a certain point in their career where their company is like a multi-million dollar company that's all they're going to be thinking about too and reputation is the key and it just sucks because it cost Vic his his career even he's been in this he's been working with Funimation for 15 plus years he's built a living he's built a career and you know he's lost it just like that as quick as all it took was a tweet all it took was a tweet no video proof no actual detailed story about it. You don't really hear anything. No, no details. I'm pretty sure, you know. And when people ask her about it, she she's quick to 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 be on the defensive side. Says, "Oh, you guys are harassing me." If it happened, it happened. You wouldn't, you know. what I'm saying, like, if you're quick to go on Twitter, you would, you know, and talk about it. You will have no problem actually answering the question when people ask you. If you put it on the public, you're gonna get a public response. And you know. And don't get mad is when you put things on Twitter and people ask you about it. That's the thing that makes people. That's what makes things. That's what people. That's what makes people think of that as shady because you're on the public. You're on Twitter, and million and, and how many, however many followers you have, can all see it. People can retweet it. Their people can retweet it. So everybody can retweet something, videos and all that kind of stuff. Once it gets on the internet, everybody can see it. When people ask you about it, don't be. Don't be mad about it. That's the thing. Why are you so upset about it? If you put it on, the, that's you know, that's the thing about social media. When people put their business on social media and then or negative things, you get you you get back what you put out. So if you put out negativity, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a negative response. If you put if you put drama on on your social media, and then get mad when people are asking you questions or or you're getting into negative situations about it, but you're the one who actually put yourself out there. You started it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Like, that that right there irks me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, like, when you put this on, when you put this on tweets, you know, and now you feel like you have the upper hand because now, you know, you have all these people on your, you know, siding with you and all you guys are cornering Vic and Vic has barely can make a, can, 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 can barely explain himself or, or even talk about on his side of what happened. And again, I'm not siding 100% on Vic because again, I don't know, like nobody was there, but you know, it's just like, he is in a situation to where, you know, and I feel for the guy because when you have uh, a bunch of people who are accusing you of something that you know you didn't, but everybody's taking that other party side and you felt like, you felt like you're hopeless, you felt like, you know, you can't really, it's no point of really saying your piece about it because either way, you know, your career, is, you know, my career is gone. You know, even if I, even if I say what I didn't do and if I had proof and I can tell the times of this and this and details and that happened, all it takes is for those three people can be like, uh, you know, no, no, that's not true. Or, or, 
yeah, I know what she told me was different. He's changing the story up, all that kind of stuff. Anything could be said in this matter, and it's just, it, it's sad, you know. And again, I'm going to say it, I'm going to stress it. It's the economy, it's the world we live in. You know, it's it's sad, you know, where it takes anybody, it's not even have, anybody can be falsely accused. If anybody fits a description, and all it takes, let's say if, uh, two people rob this bank. You know, they rob this, uh, this, this, this Huntington Bank, uh, and at this time, and or they, they, or they rob. Let's say this guy's at an ATM at nine o'clock, and uh, says that this guy wearing a a black hoodie came and robbed me. Now, even though he got robbed by somebody in the black hoodie. He just says all he had was a black hoodie. Now, if they if they play the footage and, and let's say uh, he was this tall and all that kind of stuff, and let's say I fit, fit the description, if I didn't do it, but I fit the description, guess what? They're locking me up. And when they put when they when they uh, when the, when the witness comes and they have you stand behind that glass and then have the the witness say, okay, which person did it? Which number? And let's say I'm number five, and they pick number five, saying I did it. Guess what? I will be. Sp- I'll probably be spending X amount of years in jail or in prison before my innocence is actually proven. So there's so many people who who wait who went who wasted years of their lives from false accusations. You know, one guy spent 12 years in prison for a crime that he didn't even commit. You know, and it took 12 years for him to to, to, to him be released. You get charged with a felony. You get charged with a felony uh, with any, on anything, especially in a false accused uh, 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 sexual allegations. That's going on your record. You know, you could probably eventually probably try to get it expunged, but for the most part, no, nobody's going to hire you. It's hard for you to get a job, even as a felon. You know what I'm saying? A convicted felon or you know, a, a, or a, a, a predator or how, however you... Um, even even peeing in public, indecent exposure. <laughs> if you get caught peeing in public, and some and as as simple as it was, you went to go pee in the woods, and somebody sees you and says that's indecent exposure, and that's all that's gonna pop up on your record. It's not gonna say in detail caught peeing in public. That's indecent exposure. So people are gonna take that as multiple things. So yeah, you know the, it's just the seriousness of how 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 the justice system works. And how people can use it to manipulate pe- other people and get people to go on their side. And literally, if all it takes is for them not to like you at all. All it takes is one dislike. If they don't like you for something that you did or that's something that you got for, and they thought that they need, they wanted it or they deserved it more than you did. All it takes is that. And boom. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it it's sad. Like, what you what do you guys think about it? Uh, like there's really no, no, no real, like there's no proof about, uh, Monica's side. Like she's not showing any videos. She's not being really detailed about her situation. And, you know, it's, it, it, it's, yeah, like I said, I keep saying that it's, it's, it's sad because it is a sad situation, but, um, prayer, prayers for you, Vic. I'm praying for you too, Monica, because you know I if I really hope you're being truthful and not lying about it. And uh, I I yeah. So yeah, it's just unfortunate, you know. I I, I I'm a big fan of Broly. I'm a big fan of Vic Mignogna's work. Um, the Broly movie just came out last month, so it's kind of like for real like dang wow it's kind of like a jaw the jaw dropper uh and it, it i was really hoping for for a second broly movie you know um i guess in that being said i guess you have to take the good with the bad take it out you know now we could if they, if they are going to do it we can look at khalifa's uh of uh side the female broly uh, if you guys watch the Tournament of Power, Dragon Ball Super, you guys should know who that is. Um, um, so, yeah. 
Maybe we'll see her. Maybe we'll see her um, <laughs> and get your throw down. You know, uh, she'll be like the another big threat. And I don't know. So. Boogie Grandma call you. So to let me know what you guys think. Uh, and if you guys agree or disagree, again, whatever. Um, let me know what you guys think about it, about the situation. I mean, there's like, there's a there's a bunch of it going on out there. Any you look up a video, huh. and uh, it's a bunch of videos out there. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think and. Uh, on the side note there, um, find the video, like my podcast, and that's it. Peace.